Hello, all my beauties and brainies, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I have a Sheen haul. So I have done a Sheen haul before, and it was mostly clothes. And honestly, I returned 50% of the items because they... A lot of it is the material, and it just kind of felt like scratchy or itchy, cheap, and textures for me like if clothings are a certain texture it just I just can't wear it it just it just drives me crazy um so I returned like 50% of the items and I hadn't I got this gift card so I was like might as well you know use the money I got back so I got this Sheen haul so as I was checking out I heard of like why a lot of people were are canceling like sheen and choosing not to support them i think i'm going to do a separate video on that after i research it a lot more but i'm not saying that we should support sheen and i haven't spent any of my own money on sheen i'm just spending gift card money so money that's already spent so with that all said that all said let's actually get into the <laughs> the haul so this first one i actually got as a oh i got this actually as a christmas gift so two of my brothers have moved out to college and they moved in together and so they're two boys living together so i saw this sticker and i thought it would be super cute um okay not super cute but like super funny like very like bachelor pad humor it says if you miss clean your piss and it has a little emoji dude bang. I don't know I thought it was hilarious um so I'm really excited I, the only thing that I'm kind of irritated by is because it's so rolled up it kind of just wants to roll up so I'm a little hesitant to believe that when you want to use it as a sticker, it will stop wanting to roll up, especially for the actual, the very long um, sticker of the actual dude. So that's where I'm at. But I think that's hilarious. Um, I showed it to my sister and she was not amused but to be fair me and my sister live together and I feel like that's not really if a bachelor pad is a dude or dudes living together I don't know what two females is but it's not really female humor I felt like Whoop. but I thought that would be kind of a cool Christmas gift and on the subject of Christmas gifts I saw this journal and I thought it would be really good for my mom as my family as a whole has really been focusing on self-help this year and I feel like I feel like everyone has but um my mom in particular out of all of us so I saw this journal and I thought it would be kind of cool um however I think this is one of the products that I'm going to return um I have a few Eh, with it so in the picture I thought it was recycled paper and it would kind of be that recycled paper feeling and it kind of looks <sighs> relaxing I don't know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find a picture if I find a picture I'll pop it up but I've seen like uh, journals with that and from my understanding this would be in it but it's not it's just regular like tan unlined paper so I'm just not really into that and from the picture I thought this cover would be like a soft faux leather however it just kind of feels cheapy plasticky papery like you can see that it's not soft leather they just, um, they just, can you see the end here where the paint comes? You can see where they literally just painted like the cardboard cover green to make it look like faux leather, which I just find a little bit dishonest and it's just not really what I'm looking for. Also on the front, I think it was just kind of because Sheen 
like originated in China. I think they kind of just like auto translated because it says warm record dot 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 and then just the letter N. Years later, accidental open it, warm in forever. So it seems like it was just kind of a little bit Google translated. And then the little bookmarks that I thought were really cute. There's a key here and then this little thing here. But this is in Spanish and I have no idea what it says. And I'm kind of confused why the cover is in English and the little bookmark thing is in Spanish. I'm not really sure. But also I thought these would be more of like a heavy metal. However, they kind of just feel like they're very, very lightweight. So I think they're just plastic that was painted to look like metal. So honestly, I'm gonna return this. I think it was like 10 bucks and I think for 10 bucks you can just find something um, find something better. So I'm just gonna put it back in its packaging and return it. The next item are these little bags. So I was thinking um, that as my family, my family's like all spread out in different states and as we all come together for Christmas, I could make like little baked goods um, and put them in this little bag. However, 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 and it does come with like some stickers that you can um, close the bag with. However, I don't, I don't really like the bag. It feels kind of like a raincoat, honestly. And what I really didn't like about it is, first of all, it's very, um, it's not very wide, so I feel like you'd be very limited in what you put in it. Um, also, it doesn't have a flat bottom, if you can see that. So you couldn't use like cookies, you could only do like candies in it, and that's just not what I was planning on using it for. And as I've been watching other people's um, hauls, I know that, um, Dollar Tree a lot of has like bags that you could use and I think I'm just gonna use those ones because they're bigger and I feel like these are just too small for what I'm personally thinking about using it for. So this one's another just a return item for me. The next thing I got were these chopsticks which look so pretty. Um, and they are metal chopsticks. And there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five pairs in it. When I was at home, my brother had like got a whole bunch, but then he moved out and I moved out. So he took his chopsticks. So I wanted to get some of my own. So it has this like blue design on the top. So it looks really pretty. And it is just a sticker. So hopefully that stays on and doesn't come out in the wash. But I mean, they seem fine, seem like regular chopsticks. So I am excited to use these. And when I was little, we had wooden chopsticks and then my brother got metal ones. And I think I just like the metal ones better. So I'm excited to have some. The next thing that I got was I got some nails. So like these are like the stick-ons and I'm really excited for these because I've never ever tried these and I know that um, they're really popular. So I'm really excited to try them. I read in the reviews that if you're using the Sheen nails, they're not very sticky. So they suggested using nail glue. So, is it really worth the money? I think that there are other places that would be more um, worth your money because they are um, sticky enough that you don't have to really have nail glue. However, I had a gift card, so it was like, I need to, I kind of just wanna <laughs> use the gift card <laughs> and um, get things I'm gonna use, use the gift card and kind of just like move on in life. <laughs> so I am really excited about these. These are super cute. Once again, I don't know if it's necessarily the most 
bang for your buck if you have to use nail glue as well but they are super cute there's like orange there's black and white polka dots and then i love these um the blue nail with the eyes and then it does come with a double sided um nail file with the blue and white i mean ideally the nail file would be a little bigger because i feel like these little ones are a little hard to use but i am excited to use these and then i also got this longer one which has um like orange and like a plain orange a tan i don't know what that's supposed to look like um kind of looks i don't know <laughs> a modern art one and then it has like a flowers one so i thought this was really cute and i feel like it's kind of like spring but fall just with those colors so i'm really excited to try that I also got some earrings. Let me show you these. So I don't know if you've read the book. Um, there's a graphic novel called um, The Sad Ghost Club. And basically it's about someone who um, struggles to make friends and struggles with um, depression and I think maybe some social anxiety but she struggles to make friends and basically like she's a ghost and she struggles to make friends and through the book she finds someone else who struggles to make friends and is kind of on the outskirts and she's another ghost and by coming out to her shell and talking to this other ghost they start this sad ghost club for all the people that struggle to make friends and you know feel odd in the world and everything so I thought these would be super cute I would wear these not just in Halloween because the Sad Ghost Club really touched my heart and it's something that really <laughs> means a lot to me as a little sad ghost. So I'm excited to try these. I don't... I'm struggling to open them. Okay, well... We'll see if I can figure these out. <laughs> They're like little circles and it seems like it's supposed to like pop so you can actually put it on. But I'm struggling to figure out how. But I'll play around with that later. Let's put that back in the bag. And I like, like more than pretty earrings, I kind of like funky earrings. But I like that these aren't too big. I don't like huge, massive ones. And then I got this notebook. Um, however, I think I'm gonna return it. In the picture, it looked pretty big. Like it looked like a normal size journal. Like it looked like the normal one, the one that I just showed you. However, in the reviews, it said like the size of your hand. However, this is not the size of my hand. It's like, half my hand so and because it's so small i'm just not really sure what i would use it for so i was gonna give it as a gift but it's just so small i think they're gonna struggle to figure out what to use it for and i don't want to give someone a gift and then them not okay and okay I'm confused by this. And I did not catch on that it was multicolored papers and it says oil painting eyeshadow plate series sticky notes, but it's not sticky. So I'm not really sure what this is. I'm gonna return it. It's too small for me and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with multicolored paper and as even as I'm opening it for the first time it doesn't seem like it's glued well together it seems like it's already gonna start falling apart so I'm just gonna put it back in the plastic and return it I don't yeah notebooks are super easy to find and um the Dollar Tree always has some I just really loved the look of this one also, it looks oil painted, but it has this like, oh, there you can see, like a cheap plasticky thing over it. So I, I wish it didn't have that and it just started with like the oil painting thing. Yeah, just 
Not a fan of that. I'm gonna return it. And then they got this bookmark where it's like an astronaut with a whale. I really, really liked it. However, looking at it now, I just kind of feel meh about it. But let me show it to you. I don't know, I just feel like it's too shiny. I don't know. <laughs> I'm struggling to get it out. But okay, it's not gonna come out. But basically it has this chain and then it has this heavy weight. So you put the chain like on the outside and then you put this like on the inside of the book. So it does look cute. I just, I don't know. It doesn't make me jump with joy as much as, as when I saw it online. So I think I'm just gonna try that. And then I got some more nails. This is in a pack. I thought this would be a really cute gift for my mom because she likes her nails painted, but she doesn't like doing her nails. And we're both cheapy people that refuse to <laughs> pay people to do our nails. So I thought these would be super cute for her. And it comes in this whole packet. So let me, and it comes with three nail files. Oh, I closed it and get an accent. Okay, so how many are there? Five. So there, it comes in a packet of fives and Here's all these different ones. I thought she would love these. This one's kind of like a crackle appearance. This one's got like a pink and a crackle. And this one's got green. I thought those would be fun for her. She she also doesn't like she doesn't like painting her nails because she doesn't think she's very good at it. So I thought these stickies seemed pretty foolproof. So I thought she would like a simpler version. She also um likes getting together with the girls at work and so and because it is a multi-pack i thought it would be fun so that she could do it with her friends or if she wants to do it with me and my sister or whatever she wants to do um there's also like a packet so a five so she can do it with other people if she wants or she can do all five with herself i mean we're not judging here so i am excited to try that well not try that but you give that to her and this is the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. I have such dry skin that I really need primer or else my um, base just looks very cakey. So I was excited to try this. I have tried makeup from Sheen before. I tried their sponge and it just doesn't, um, even when you add water, it, it feels a little hard. So when you're trying to like blend out your makeup, it kind of just feels like you're slapping yourself in the face, honestly. I also tried their eyeshadow palettes. It just wasn't pigmented enough for me. And the color stories that I tried were kind of just boring to me. And then what else did I try? Oh, I also tried their foundation, I think it was, their foundation or their concealer. And it was really bad. It just left my skin very cakey. It smelled like chemicals, not my favorite thing. <laughs> so why am I trying this? Valid question, but I did try those like a while ago, so I was like, maybe they improved, and this is good reviews, and I needed a primer, and I don't know. I wanted to spend my gift card, and I couldn't think of anything else I needed, so um, I wanted to try this, and it does come with this little spatula. It seems like it's kind of like the Elf Putty Primer formula where it's a little thicker and it's better to just scratch it off. So it is very, oh, okay. A little goes a long way, let's put some of that back. But it kind of feels like a clay mask, honestly. Oh, and then it blends right in, okay. Huh, okay, so it's supposed to blur your pores and it looks like it does. So excited to try. 
I don't know. I do not, I, I really don't like these like clear plastic or glass ones because it is very misleading about how much product you have. Cause you see how much like how little you actually get. Just saying. What else did I get? Okay. I also got <laughs> some more nails. I wanted to try their acrylic nails and these look super, super cute. Um, I know this style is really in, but I thought it was like basic enough that it could go with a lot of different um, clothes. Like I wouldn't have to worry about if my nails match my clothes because honestly, that's just way too much thinking for me. Um, I have tried Sheen nails before and they were just so big, they didn't even fit my nails, like not even close. So I was very cautious looking at pictures in the reviews about how much it fits. Um, and this uh, brand looked like they fit fairly well. So hopefully I have a better experience. Just looking at these, they look already a lot smaller and more realistic about what a person's fingers actually look like. So excited to try. And then I got some more nails. So these are little dinosaurs, like little T-Rexes, but they bite into your ear. Can you see that? Like they bite into your ear. So that should be super fun. I'm really excited for it. I don't think you can get any more fun funky than a T-Rex biting into your ear. So I'm excited for those. And then I have an All Eyes On You Eyelash Glue Liner. I was wearing lashes for a bit, like at the very, very beginning of when I um, started a YouTube channel. And then just kept moving around and I, I think I kept losing either my eyelash glue or my lashes and so I kind of just gave up because I kept losing everything because life was chaotic but now that I'm settled into my new house I don't think I'm going to lose things as much I think it was the lashes I just kept losing because you have to like every night when you take them off you just have to be really conscious about putting them away because I kept just finding them everywhere and going from someone that just wore mascara to having to worry about where you put your eyelashes was just <sighs> too much extra work. But I'm going to try this again. Let's see this. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is... <laughs> It looks like a weird sex toy to me, but what is this packaging? I feel like this packaging is cool and funky, but honestly, doesn't really seem like it has a lot of product. And I don't know, is this really the best, I don't know, way to, cause you, how do you hold this to really get in here? I don't know. If, Okay, that's weird. Okay, anyway, let's twist it off so we can look at it. And it is a clear one. It kind of has like a thin paintbrush. I don't, the thin paintbrush style is not really my favorite because I feel like you can't really control how much glue is going on. I really like the eyeliner pens better, but I'll try it. And then, <laughs> okay. And then I have these really cool earrings as well. That, oh, it does have little stoppers. And there's these little astronauts on little, like one's on a star and one's on the moon. I thought these were super, super cute and adorable. I'm excited. And I felt like our earrings that I wouldn't really find anywhere else. I did get a, a couple eyeliner pen, excuse me, a couple eyeliner pens. So this one, this is what it looks like. I don't really like the size. It's very, very small. Um, 
to like <laughs> this is how it compares to my other ones not impressed and then when you take off the and look how much longer this lid is the lid goes all the way to here okay so when you take off <laughs> uh jeez. okay just saying hold this so long so i did get a white because i know a lot of people are putting it in the um their waterline and i do really like how it looks so i thought i would try that let's just swatchy swatch swatch looks like not bad pigmentation so not a complete dud and then I also got a yellow Can you see the yellow there the um it is very creamy so I am excited to try those those are all the products that I got overall I think the I don't know how I feel about the eyeliners um overall I think I'm keeping a lot more this time than my first time around because I was like no go with the clothes because it's just too hit or miss for me um but overall I'm returning one two Three, four things. So I'm, I'm, I'm returning four things. So it's a lot better than last time. Um, and I also got a wider range of things than I got last time. So excited to try these. Oh, and these eyeliners are no budge. I was just absentmindedly rubbing them and they haven't budged at all. So these are like a no budge eyeliner. If that's something that interests you. Um, so I think I did do fairly well this time or Sheen did fairly well and what I do really like about Sheen is they do have a little thing <laughs> in your package that um tells you how to um make returns I mean that kind of tells you a lot about their brand <laughs> that they know you're going to return something so much that they left a little piece of paper that just tells you how many products from Sheen are returned. But I mean, in this case, <laughs> when I'm returning something, I really do appreciate it. And I know from the last time when I returned things, it was a super easy process. Um, so I will say that about Sheen is I really like their return process is super, super easy, efficient. Um, I don't think you have to pay for the mailing, which is amazing because I know with other brands you have to and then it's like, is it even worth it? Not really. Um, yes, so I'm going to have a separate video when I am trying on those makeup products. But overall, I'm pretty happy on what I got. And thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.